My name is Rod Romain. I'm the chief engineer for Ram Heavy Duty. And I'm going to run you through some of the interior features for the new 2019 Ram today. We'll start with the overhead console, which is where all your lighting controls are for your passenger and driver side map lights. You can also lower your tailgate from here. And also, depending on how you want to configure it, whether or not you want the dome lights to come on when you open the doors or you don't, your assist button, your SOS, if you get need emergency assistance. You can also, if you have a, equipped with a power uh, rear window, you can open and close it with this. And then your sunroof controls are here for opening your sunroof or just opening the vent in your sunroof. This is a Laramie, Laramie Limited model with the 12 inch radio. A lot of nice features on this radio. One of them, if you push the home button, you can actually configure the screens for whatever, whatever you want for the most part. And if you want to change from climate, you can put in your media. If you don't want your nav, you can select that and you can put in your travel link. Or if you want to go back to a full screen, you simply push the home button again. All of these buttons along here are configurable as well. So if you go into your app drawer, and let's say you want your controls, you can actually drag, drag that down in, and you can put that in the bottom. So if you're you know, towing the family RV and you want a different, different features down there, you can change that. And then if you're towing for work during the week, you can change that as well. One of the new features this year with the 12-inch radio is some of the, uh, the trailer cameras and different camera views that we've added. So if you look at the radio, and there's multiple ways to get here, but one of the ways is just simply going into the cargo camera. And then you'll see up on the top, you've got all of your optional views that are available. Um, this is the, the Chimsel view. So if you've got a gooseneck or a fifth wheel, you can see the centering line, and it allows you to just back right up and use the camera to, to actually back up. Um, if a tag trailer is, is more than your trailer of choice, then you can back up to your hitch, and when you get close to it, you can actually zoom in. So whatever the ball or the receiver is there, you can use that to back right under the trailer and you don't need a spotter. One of the views that, that I like the best um, is the split view. So when you're backing up a trailer and you want to have that just an extra view, more view of what if you're trying to back along the garage or by the pole barn or down an alley, it really gives you nice extended views. And you can also, you can shift this. So depending on what your blind side is when you're backing up, you can move that around to be able to just get more views. So between this and your side mirrors, it really gives you a nice, nice views to be able to make sure where you're back and you've got a clear shot. Now, when moving down into the controls in the lower area here, we've got the integrated trailer brake controller here with the plus and minus and manual activation. And then going across the switches, we've got the alternate trailer height for the air suspension to be able to lower the vehicle approximately an inch to help establish that parallel relationship between the trailer and truck. We've got the exhaust brake here. We've got the tow haul here and then front and rear park sense with the rear park sense is off right now because it's detected a trailer behind the truck so it automatically turns that off so you don't get false warnings when you're backing up with a trailer.